Hello YouTubers, this is Average Joe here. Uh, we're going to start off today taking a look at a Honda HS928 snowblower and I'm going to take you through the basic process that I do to get this ready for winter. It's been an outstanding snowblower. Um, I highly recommend Honda blowers. You do pay a little bit more up front, but it certainly is worth the money. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with an oil change. Um, one step that I've already done that you aren't going to see in the video is I've already taken the time to go ahead and warm up the engine so that way the oil is going to flow smoothly. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, the very first thing you want to make sure you do is you're going to notice on your track model, um, you'll notice that there is a foot pedal down here. This foot pedal is for the various positions. So right now it's in the transporting position or the high position that you would use for deep snow. But you can of course set that so I can lock it in. Um, and of course I can also position it for digging down in ice. Um, but you'll notice that's the very lowest setting and you can see how it's almost aiming the auger downwards toward the, the surface there. But you want to make sure you have it the whole way back when you go to drain the oil just because that helps everything drain a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead and take a look then at the, uh, the oil drain plug. Um, something that you want to be familiar with there is you want to make sure you are draining from the correct plug. So you want to make sure you're draining from the correct plug. So you'll notice all right, on the muffler side of the unit, there is actually a drain plug with a little trough. However, if you're not paying attention, since this model of engine is used on a variety of Honda power equipment, including uh, non-Honda equipment, still uses Honda engines, okay, you can go over to the other side and you'll notice uh, exact same drain plug but one small problem. There is no trough to drain the oil. So if you make the mistake and you loosen it there, you are definitely going to have a mess. So you're going to see here in a minute how I set up the trough to drain the oil. Okay, so you're going to notice that I went ahead and I positioned a funnel um, right underneath the trough on there so that way I can hopefully redirect all of the oil that way. Um, kind of give you a better look at that as well. Let's just take a nicer look at that. Um, so you can see that I've actually positioned the funnel right below the trough um, and that way I'm going to be able to loosen that and the funnel is going to catch it. Now one of the things I've found with this is inevitably you always have a problem with the funnel staying where you want it to. So what I do is I am actually going to take a common clamp that I have laying around my garage. I'm going to use one of these clamps, uh, position that on there so I can secure the funnel where I need it before I go ahead and loosen that the rest of the way. Um, and one of the things too is you do want to remember that you're going to need to have a 12 millimeter socket or a 12 millimeter wrench to remove the drain plug on this particular unit. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll loosen this. Let's take a look here. Uh, before I actually secure this down, of course, I'm going to get this loosened. Okay, so I know that it's going to come free. Um, obviously, the oil is going to be hot, so you want to be careful with that. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and position this funnel where I want it in hopes of uh, keeping the trough lined up. So I just set this on here just to give me a little bit of extra um, security there so it doesn't slide off. That will hold that right to the belt, nothing major, but just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, and just so you know, one of the things I learned from the past is when you go to change this, and it's all fine once it gets loose. This is a very long drain plug. If you let the drain plug come the whole way out, it's a good possibility that it will get stuck depending on the diameter of your funnel. And I've had that happen once before. So for that, I like to keep some pliers nearby just in case so that if it does come out of there and go to fall, um, I can catch it very easily. And you can see that I can actually just turn this out of here. I mean, it would be much easier with the socket, but I just don't want to completely lose the drain plug. Um, once the oil starts gushing out of there, because it's going to here any second. And it's easy once you get it to spin out. So there you go. You can see the oil is gushing already. Made a little bit of a mess, but I saved my plug in the process without a problem. Um, for the most part, everything is staying in the trough. There's a little bit that gushed out over, which was because of me fumbling with the drain plug, but for the most part, I got it all. So we're good on that. Uh, and what I like to do once it actually is going is I do like to actually um, flat put the snowblower out level just to make sure that it's going to stay where, you know, so I can get all the oil out of it. So uh, I will move that down as well um, just to double check that. So that's, that's the idea. So we're going to give this a minute and let it drain. Uh, if you want to pick up the draining speed, 
which it's already draining pretty well. I'm actually going to loosen the, the fill side, which is on the other side of the unit. So if I loosen that, that'll hopefully remove any uh, amount of a vacuum that's been created. Didn't really do much of anything, but it's a good idea to do that as well. And you can see how the oil is just so, uh, it's running so well because of me heating up the engine, obviously. So that's what I always like to do to try to eliminate the contaminants as much as possible. Uh, another nice thing about having that clamp on there is that now that it's just dripping a little bit, um, what I can do is go ahead and level this off some, just so that the rest of it can run out of there as well. And I'm just going to let that drip for a few minutes here. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll seal it back up and we'll go from there. Okay, so I removed the trough off and the clamp. Uh, very simply, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is what we're going to be putting into the unit. Um, here I have some Valvoline 5W30 conventional motor oil. Uh, I really don't go through the hassle of putting in the synthetic. Some people like the synthetic, some people don't. My whole thing is, I'm going to change it every season anyway. I don't put tons and tons of hours on the snowblower. So to me, just buying conventional 5W30, I've always had good luck with Valvoline. Uh, and I use Valvoline continuously ever since this was new. I try to stick with the same oil brand and the same viscosity. Uh, this 5W30 is what's actually listed in the owner's manual for this particular model. Just double check. Uh, typically, Honda snowblowers do not take the same weights as some of the other manufacturers, um, your Briggs & Stratton engines or your Tecumseh engines. So you just want to double check that. Uh, this one actually calls for 1.16 US quarts. I'm going to go ahead and just put in the first quart initially. Obviously, there's going to be residual oil in there, and I just want to make sure that I've got everything drained out, or I should say, in this case, filled up without overfilling it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We got the majority of it, looks like it's out of there now. And we're going to take a minute here and we'll actually check the level of that, see where it's at. So, to check it, I'm just going to take my dipstick and see where the level is at to start with here. And it looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Obviously, we're going to just run it here in a minute and check for leaks. And other than that, uh, we just completed the first step of what I like to do at the beginning of every fall uh, or mid-fall right before winter is just to get the, the oil change in your snowblower. Uh, it'll last a long time as long as you keep up with it.